Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we journey together into the profound wisdom found in 1 Peter 5, 6, a verse that speaks to the heart of our faith and the essence of true Christian living. The scripture reads, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time He may exalt you. 1 Peter 5, 6, ESV. This simple yet powerful verse encapsulates a principle that is vital not only to our spiritual growth, but to our overall well-being and success in life. The concept of humility is often misunderstood in our modern world, where pride and self-promotion are celebrated. But the Bible teaches us that true humility is not about thinking less of ourselves, but rather thinking of ourselves less. It's about recognizing that our strength, wisdom, and success do not come from our own efforts, but from God's grace and guidance. When we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, we acknowledge His sovereignty over our lives. This act of humility is not an admission of weakness, but a declaration of trust in God's plan and timing. It is an act of surrender, a willing submission to His will, knowing that He knows what is best for us. This is beautifully echoed in Proverbs 3, 5-6, where we are reminded to trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Applying 1 Peter 5, verse 6 to our lives begins with a heart check. Are we willing to let go of our own plans, our own desires, and submit to God's will, even when it doesn't align with our personal ambitions? This is not an easy task, but it is a necessary one. As the psalmist writes in Psalm 37, verse 5, Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will act. Our part is to commit and trust. God's part is to exalt us in His perfect timing. This promise of exaltation, however, is not about worldly success or fame. The exaltation that God promises is a spiritual uplifting, a raising of our spirits above the trials and tribulations of this world. It is a positioning of our hearts closer to His, where we can experience His peace, joy, and fulfillment. Jesus Himself taught this principle in Matthew 23:12, saying, Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. In a world that constantly pushes us to seek recognition and validation, the call to humility is countercultural. But as followers of Christ, we are called to live differently, to set our minds on things above, not on earthly things. Colossians 3 2. Humility is the key to unlocking the abundant life that Jesus promised us in John 10 10. To cultivate humility in our lives, we must first understand that it is not a one time act, but a daily practice. It begins with our thoughts, acknowledging God's presence and sovereignty in every aspect of our lives. It continues with our actions as we serve others selflessly, following the example of Jesus who, as Philippians 2.8 tells us, humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. And it is sustained by our prayers as we seek God's strength to live humbly in a world that glorifies pride. As we walk this path of humility, we may not always understand God's timing or His ways, but we can trust that His plans are for our good. Jeremiah 29, 11. In His perfect timing, He will lift us up, not according to the standards of this world, but according to His divine purpose. Brothers and sisters, let us embrace the humble path, trusting in the mighty hand of God. Let us surrender our lives to Him, knowing that in due time, He will exalt us. As we do so, we will find true peace and fulfillment, living a life that honors God and reflects His love to the world. May the Lord bless you and keep you as you walk humbly with Him. Amen.